Hello there. I'm recording a, a little uh, bit of information on using the Cam Studio to get things synchronized. Um, the big issue here is the uh, not the audio options, although many people do recommend that you click this and set it to use MCI recording. What that means is you're using the system's own method of, re of audio recording and bypassing this thing's compression. You're not using any of the compressed format information in here. It just bypasses it all. It goes directly in, most likely at 44.1 kilohertz. I'm trying for a mono input. I'm hoping it's using mono at 16-bit. Not even sure. But uh, the main thing is that we bypass the uh, compression because it's putting an extra load on an already pretty loaded down program, especially when I'm recording Photoshop sessions and stuff like that. I've got my processor already doing enough. So just letting it use the uh, system method is a good idea. Okay. The other big deal is under video options. And, um, I'm using Microsoft Video One compressor, which is recommended because, again, it's a system um, thing. It's already in the operating system, pretty much. But here's the big deal. Here, the capture frames every setting. This is a re this relates with the playback rate. Basically, whatever your playback rate setting is, divide that into 1,000, which is 1,000 milliseconds equals a second. Correct. You have to divide this into one th into 1,000, and that's what you put in here. Now, this program does not allow you to put in decimals. Like, um, I cannot put in 33, 30, well, 33.333, which means I can't use a 30 frames per second output. Because this program rounds things down to 33, as I'll show you, there we go, it's 30 frames a second, and you see it rounded it to 33. It doesn't use decimal points. So I'm actually getting um, 30 times 33 is 990, and so that means I'm going to eventually get audio lag. It's going to get worse and worse and worse, okay? Uh, so even if you use, if you click auto adjust and use this slider, um, make sure that to do the math, multiply these two times each other and make sure that it equals an even um, 1,000. The other option pretty much is only um, this one, 20 times 50 um, is 1,000, or 10, of course. T 10 times 100 is 1,000. Whatever, that's pretty much your options. You've got to, it's got to be equal. It can't be 1566 because there's no decimal. It's actually six six point six 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 six. Okay, so uh, so that's the uh, that's the hard news. If you have this set wrong, your audio sync is going to get worse and worse, more and more out of sync as the video progresses. Alrighty, so um, uh, the keyframe is a pretty good setting. It can be higher. It can be lower. Um, the uh, it's just going to increase your file size. And if you make it too big, you might have seek problems. So anyway, let's get out of that. I'm already at this rate. Now, as far as the um, uh, video compression is concerned, by the way, the reason I don't mind using the Microsoft Video One compressor is that I'm going to be uploading this to video to YouTube, who's going to compress my video, however they do it. And uh, so, so it's not really an issue what my file size is at this point. YouTube's going to accept whatever it is or whatever size, and they're going to compress it in several different formats to match different people's uh, downloads. So, uh, so it's not really our, our worry. All right, so there you go. The big issue is you want to keep that audio and video synchronized. Uh, a nice little test is to pull up and do the alphabet test. The alphabet test is to actually read out as you type, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And if it's synchronizing as you type, you know your sync is okay. Especially if you've gotten pretty far into your video and you do this test, 
<laughs> then this is really a great way to find out whether or not um, things are working the way they're supposed to be okay so with that in mind i'm hoping that you get good synchronization and good videos and see them up on uh, youtube and everywhere else